I'm uh, Kenneth. I'm currently a first year medical student at Duke NUS. I'm uh, pursuing an MD course currently. I'm an undergraduate. I did a Bachelor of Science at the University of Melbourne and I did uh, biochemistry as a major. In my honours year in Melbourne, I was uh, doing research at a cancer research institute. It's the Peter McCallum Cancer Research Institute. This institute also doubled up as a cancer hospital. So every day as I would go in and out to the in and out of the lab, I would see queues of patients waiting for treatment. And it was there that it really struck me whether how much of my research was able to impact these people, but or more specifically, how could I use what I know to better help these people? And it dawned upon me that I should use, I should have medical training to be better able to go to the front lines to assess what needs there are in our healthcare system and to be able to devise innovations to act as force multipliers and better healthcare. I first heard about Duke NUS when I was still studying in Australia. I saw it on the Straits Times online and there was an article about the new school being a new medical school being built in Singapore to be able to allow graduate studies in medicine. Typically, Singa uh, medicine in Singapore was an, un was an undergraduate course, but now with this new school, graduates such as myself are able to pursue medical education. So, the thing that really struck me about this new school was the amount of investment being put in from the government to build up this new school and also to invest in the training of a new type of doctors. Doctors that could be clinicians at the same time to treat people but also implement new innovations to be able to solve current problems in healthcare. And this was what really attracted me to this school. My first year's Foundations course was a very, very interesting experience because the classmates that I met were really from very diverse backgrounds. We have some who are engineers, some who are accountants, some business, uh, business graduates. We even had one who was a teacher. And these people come with a lot of talent and a strong background in what they were doing previously. And I think it was really, what struck me a lot more was the collaborative nature that was fostered in the first year's foundation course because we really worked, learned to work together as a team, relying on team synergy to be able to better level each other up as compared to just learning by yourself. And so with this team synergy, we are all able to move ahead together and reach higher standards together. So this really impressed upon me and it gave me a very, very good outlook on medical training in this school. The typical advice I would give for students is not to give up because it, it can be very stressful preparing for application and whatnot. Previously, from my personal experience was that I actually sat for the MCAT four times and it was initially it was very discouraging to keep sitting for the MCAT, especially when you hear people who sit for it once or twice and they get very good scores. But for me, I found it in myself that as compared to asking what do I have that makes me a worthy student of this school, I felt that if I asked that question, you would always feel inadequate, that we will always be lacking skills. But if we were to change the question and phrase it differently, how badly is there a need to enter this school? I think if we ask this question to ourselves, we'll be able to find, we'll be resourceful enough to find any means to achieve this. And it took me four MCAT uh, tests to finally get a score that was, was uh, competitive enough to enter. So my best advice to students who are applying and if they do and if they're encountering any difficulty, press on and don't give up. Just keep trying.